Hi, in this video, I'm going to be covering another custom visual. This is the enhanced scatter chart. If you have a look at the visualizations, we have a scatter chart already available here. And if you look at the options that you get inside the scatter chart, you've got details, legends, X, Y, size, you know, the access tool tips, the normal ones that you have in a scatter chart. But what I'm going to do, show you is the enhanced scatter chart, which includes improvements to the exi existing scatter chart visual. So it has a few more properties that were added on top of the existing chart that you just saw. So you could have shapes as markers rather than the bubbles. You can add a background image. You can have a image in the background along with the shapes, dynamic shapes and coloring. So that is a couple of things that you can do. And yeah, this is the enhanced scatter. This one is by Microsoft. If you just have a look here, this will show you. So you could have shapes like this. You could have images as well. So I've already added it. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't, I have not. One second. Let me just add that. Enhance scatter. Yeah, it's right here. Now for this, I have, I'm going to import a different data set. So let's go back to my, Sample data sets and results and top sites. So this is the data set that I'm going to import and work upon. So if you just look what the data set has is it has a site name, it has the bounce rate, daily paid views per visitor, daily time on site, and it has shape numbers. So I'm just gonna load this data and we'll get straight to the enhanced scatter visual. Just give it a second and you'll see the different columns inside the fields right here in a second yeah they're right here so let's go to the visual enhanced scatter i've clicked on it this is how it looks this is the one enhanced scatter and let's have a look at the option that we have here so you've got size with color saturation you've got customized color you've got shape you've got image rotation backdrop x star you've got a lot of options compared to the normal scatter chart that you have here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have my bounce rate, I'm going to have my daily page views per visitor and daily time on site. So this just gives me one bubble in the center, one circle, circular shape in the center. So it has the tool tips, three tool tips, it shows me the bounce rate, daily page views per visitor and daily time on site. Now this is the total. If you go to my data set, one second. And if you have a look at the top sites data set, so this that circular thing in the center the shape it is not showing me individual breakup it is showing me the total so now what i do if i want to see individuals i take my site name i click on my site name and we'll go into details and i'll have my uh, bubbles according to the different sites and now the size is also different because the bounce rate is different the page views are different and the daily time on the site is different so you have you click move your cursor on each of the bubbles and you see a different value now if you want to have your site name you can have that in legends so what that do is it will have different colors for each of the bubbles right now it looks very monotonous so once you bring in site name into your legends you have different colors for all the bubbles so this looks even more better so now i just added legends so these are called legends at the top you see different colors for all the different sites and now let's look at a couple of options that we have here what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you first the shape example the dynamic shapes then i'm going to show you some customizable colors and then i think i'll be showing you an image background image so what i'm going to do right now is you see the shape field here i'll take my shape and i'll drag my shape into the shape field and voila you just saw that i'll do that again I'll drag shape right now it's just circles i'll drag shape into my data set into my data shape field and you have different shapes for the different states so earlier it was all circles now it's all in different shapes so now if i take you back to my data view here so this is the report view and this is the data view so you see that this data set has it's a column called shape and it has different numbers assigned to it now this data set was downloaded from the internet you can get it on the internet 
just search for Alexa data.xlsx and you'll find the first link you can download that now this shape feature that I just added there it is inbuilt into the data set so you can't do that inside power bi i mean you can do that in a different visual but for this enhanced scatter chart when you want to drag something inside the shape visual right here so then you need to have that in your data set so let's say zero represents a circle one represents a different shape two represents a different shape so that happens from your data set so that is what i wanted to clarify in case there was any doubt and let's look at the formatting options that we have available so you go to format and you can literally change the color of each of the websites you could do that so let's say for example this is linkedin linkedin and youtube look kind of similar it's just a lighter and darker version so what i'm going to do is i'm going to change linkedin to maybe uh one second yeah i'm going to change linkedin to a black color so yeah let's make linkedin black and I've turned on legends you could go to categories and you could turn on categories and you could change the colors and have the size differ you could, you could add a backdrop no issues i could add an outline now just pay attention this is a very subtle difference but it matters to some people and so when i take out take off outline you see that there's a very subtle change over here happening if you look at the triangle carefully there's a very subtle change happening so you know it helps it helps where here when you have open overlapping shapes so you see that slight outline that helps so you could uh, you could add a border that is the normal one that you have so yeah this is how you add a th dynamic shapes to the enhanced scatter so remember I did not I what I did first what I selected my bounce rate let's do that again one second and deselect all of them untick all of them and i'll show it to you again so if i imported my enhanced scatter visual from the app source clicked on it it is right here in front of me i'll select on the feeds i got the bounce rate i get the daily page views i got the daily time on site now this shows me the total for all the 10 sites when i click on site name it'll show me different ones and this is different because i had already changed the color so you just drag your site name into shapes into legends sorry and you have different colors and you drag your shape into the shape field and you will have different shapes for each of the different sites and remember this is the shapes feature is inbuilt in the data set as well it was a column in the data set so yeah this is the dynamic shapes option that you have in enhanced scatterplot and now i'll be covering another example thank you and stay tuned for the next video to watch another example inside the enhanced scatter chart thank you i hope you learned something new